You gotta check this out. So apparently there were some MPs who were wittingly, aka deliberately, giving secrets to a foreign state. So the description of this says the National Security Intelligence Committee of Parliamenta Parliamentarians has conducted its review over alleged foreign interference in Canada's 2019 and 2021 federal elections. As David Akins explains, uh, these findings include allegations of an unnamed MP who wittingly provided information to a foreign state. So let's have a look here and uh, we'll react to it after, like always. This is insane. Also on Parliament Hill today, another key report on foreign interference, this time by a special all-party committee of MPs. Members of the National Security Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians, or NSICOP, have security clearance to be able to review top secret classified material and conduct its own review over allegations of foreign meddling in Canada's last two elections. Our chief political correspondent, David Aiken, joins us now. David, what's new in NSICOP's own take on this issue? Well, first of all, Farah, we have what seems to be a never before disclosed incident of foreign interference. The NSICOP report says that a member of parliament, quote, wittingly provided information to a foreign state. Now, NSICOP's members are clear to see the top secret CSIS information about this, but NSICOP could not name the MP. It did not say when this happened, and it did not identify the foreign state in play. And when we asked the public safety minister about it, he refused to comment. I want to be careful. Of course, they don't want to tell you who it was. There's another person who should be, who should be convicted and charged and tried. I mean, it's un we don't know which state. Oh, I, I think we can probably take a good guess, can't we? We probably guess it was from the liberal side. Don't know which MP it was, but I I'm guessing it was China. Uh, not to comment on specific matters, intelligence matters. In any event, NSICOP, and it's worth saying this once again, that this is an all-party committee. NSICOP said this was a, quote, particularly concerning case in which a sitting MP maintained a relationship with a foreign intelligence officer and that that MP sought to arrange a meeting in a foreign state with a senior intelligence official the NSICOP report said that MP also proactively provided the foreign intelligence officer with information provided in confidence. Now, the NSICOP report does go over much of the same ground as the public inquiry and other investigations we've already seen, but one interesting focus unique to NSICOP is parliamentarians and how foreign actors target them and their work. NSICOP says the government and the country's security agencies need to do a better job to help MPs, senators, and their staff be aware of foreign interference and that they should get better and more timely intelligence briefings. Mara. David Aiken in Ottawa. Thank you, David. Yeah, I mean, obviously we don't have all the information yet, so I don't want to <laughs> be uh, too skeptical here, but that being said, or I don't want to you know, make too many statements here, but obviously we're all skeptical of you know, what information was given. How was it used? Did it help overturn some seats that may have went conservative that ended up going liberal? We don't really know. But here we go. Again, another scandal for this scandalous liberal, liberal party. I mean, it's just one after another. And I bet Trudeau's not going to get hurt too badly in the polls. I think his base is firmly around 20 to 25 percent who will just vote for him no matter what he does or no matter how how badly he destroys his country. They don't care. Half of them are communists or socialists anyway. They want to see the end of capitalism and the end of Canada as they know it. And my message to those people, again, just get the fuck out of here and go live in one of those socialist or communist countries and leave us the hell alone. You want the government to be daddy, go go let them. Go to Cuba, go to Venezuela, go live in China, go ahead. Stop trying to turn Canada into these awful places that people who can flee from it to come here. Because we are supposed to be a free country. With free and fair elections, not this horseshit meddling in our elections from an unknown state. To be fair, maybe it's not China. I bet it's China.
But again, this this is just insane. I'm not sure how many of you heard of this, but if you have any more information, please also let me know in the comments because I'm just I just heard about this I think uh, last night, and then I just finished work, so I wanted to do a video on it. But I mean, this is crazy. But any more information is definitely appreciated. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It really, really helps grow it. We just hit over a thousand subs, so hopefully we can you know get to that ten thousand mark, um, you know as quickly as possible but thank you all for those who do subscribe and if you aren't subscribed yet just please hit that subscribe button i really really appreciate it thanks again so much for watching i'll be back shortly with another video